Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So tomorrow we have payments worth up to $943 going out to certain beneficiaries of Social Security. We're going to be going over who is going to be receiving those payments plus the remaining payment schedule for the month ahead in February. Plus we have some conspiracy theories brewing online involving Taylor Swift the NFL, the Democratic Party, and the 2024 elections. I'm going to be going over why I disagree with this conspiracy theory and why, although some conspiracy theories could possibly be true, why I think this one is just all nonsense. But before we go ahead and dive into the main content of today's video, if you wouldn't mind helping me out real quickly by just giving this video a like, that just helps out with the good old YouTube algorithm, and also consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Plus, if you would like to receive up to $9,000 in free stocks or $9,000 in free cash in a pinned comment below, I will be leaving a link to Webull. All you have to do is once you click on that link, it's just sign up for a free account and then deposit at least one penny. At that point, Webull will be sending you at least three free stocks worth once again all the way up to $9,000. And if you do not want to invest at this point in time and you'd rather just have the cash, all you have to do is once you receive those free stocks, it's just sell them for what they're worth and then transfer the cash value right back to your bank account. Okay, so diving right into our lead story of today's video, and that is that $943 or up to $943 payments will be arriving tomorrow into bank accounts of certain Social Security beneficiaries. We're gonna be going over now who is going to be receiving those payments. So according to the Washington Examiner, Social Security update, February direct payment worth $943 goes out in two days. Now, this was back on January 30th, so it's actually going to be tomorrow on February 1st. So the first supplemental security income payment of 2024 worth up to $943 for individual filers will go out to recipients in two days. That's actually tomorrow. The payment, which is the first check of 2024 because of a, because of a scheduling quirk in the Social Security Administration's calendar, will be released on Thursday, February 1st. The maximum amount of money each person receives through the program depends on how each recipient file for the payment. There are three categories when filing, individual, joint, or an essential person. This year, individual fathers will receive up to $943 each month. Eligible couples will receive up to $1,415. And essential persons who live with people receiving SSI payments and provide them with necessary care will get up to $472 each month according to the SSA. These amounts are an increase of 3.2% from 2023. Now, of course, not every recipient will receive the max payment. Filers can see a personalized estimate through the SSA's calculator. And as you can see, the payment schedule is up on the screen. Once again, on Thursday, February 1st, tomorrow, that is when SSI recipients are gonna receive their payment. Then the next day on the 2nd, those are gonna be going to those who receive both SSI and Social Security, so their Social Security payment will go on the 2nd, and then also to those who started receiving Social Security benefits before May of 1997. Then the remainder of the payments going out in February, we have one payment going out on February 14th, and then the next payment the following Wednesday on the 21st of February, and then finally the, the last payment on the 28th. That's just gonna go uh, out depending on uh, when you were born in the month. So if you're born between the 1st and the 10th, your payment will be going out on the 14th. If you're born between the 11th and 20th, your payment will go out the following Wednesday on the 21st. And then if you were born after the 20th of any given month, your payment in that case would be going out on the 28th. Okay, so moving on to our next topic of today's video, and that of course involves Taylor Swift and the conspiracy theory right now going around in right-wing circles involving Swift herself, the NFL, the Democratic Party, and the 2024 election. So right now, the Kansas City Chiefs are in the Super Bowl. They're uh, set to face off against the San Francisco 49ers in a couple of weeks. And basically, the rumors are that the NFL is rigging this, uh, this uh, season in favor of the Kansas City Chiefs. They want the Chiefs to be in the Super Bowl, and they want the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl. So then I guess uh, 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 Swift can go out there with uh, Travis Kelsey, who she is dating right now. And I guess at halftime, she's going to come out and endorse Joe Biden. And then you're going to have a confetti come down and Joe Biden's going to walk out and everyone's going to be super happy. And Joe Biden's going to go off and win the 2024 election because she endorsed Biden. And she's saying that everyone needs to go out and vote for Joe Biden. 
and it's going to be this this huge event that takes place at the Super Bowl. The Chiefs are going to win in grand fashion. Everyone's just going to be happy. Everyone's going to love Swift. And everyone's going to love Joe Biden. And so there's a lot of, you know, once again, right-wing conspiracy theories out there that the Democratic Party and the Pentagon are using Taylor Swift uh, to help, uh, you know, I guess, win or rig the election in favor of Joe Biden. So we're going to go ahead and watch this clip, and then we're going to come back to talk about it. Tonight, the right going all in on a baseless conspiracy theory that claims Taylor Swift's relationship with Travis Kelsey and the Super Bowl are all rigged to help Joe Biden win the election. This is what I think is going to happen. There's going to be like some type of proposal at the, after the Super Bowl is rigged for the Chiefs. And then the two of these people become, it's like, reach like crazy levels of absolute fame. And then they use that in order to try and save Joe Biden. Okay. Media personality Benny Johnson said Taylor Swift is an op. And then there's whatever Benny Johnson is writing on Twitter. It's all fake. Taylor Swift exposed as a Fed op to rig 2024 election for Biden. Pentagon admits it. Okay. Taylor Swift. Tuned into any conservative media or scrolled through Elon's ex- Twitter in the past few days, you may have seen the latest conspiracy that has the far right absolutely losing their minds. The Taylor Swift Super Bowl isn't making everyone happy because right wing dinguses like Vivek Ramaswamy are claiming this whole thing is a conspiracy, suggesting that the Super Bowl will be rigged for the Chiefs to set the stage for Taylor Swift's Biden endorsement. Guys, I mean, are you all OK? Seriously. Take a walk. Shake it off, as she would say. I mean, as the right wing conspiracy goes, stick with me here. Taylor Swift might just be an operative for the Democratic Party. Some, like Jesse Waters, who you just saw there, would even call her a psyop. Uh, Jen, I understand the president's going to deploy Taylor Swift at this strategic time. Oh, my God. I got asset, Taylor Swift. I mean, are you up on the, the whole conspiracy theories? Oh no, but I, I, we, we might as I'd well. Every other, uh, every we? other network's like bathing in conspiracy <laughs> theories. Why can't we? Okay, so like I mentioned earlier on in today's video in the beginning, I think this conspiracy theory it's just complete nonsense. Now, some conspiracy theories, sure, they happen to come out true and be true in the end. But this one, you know, while I'm definitely sure that Joe Biden would love to have Taylor Swift's support or any other celebrity that he can get on board with him and uh, back him in the race, I think this is just absolutely foolish because, for one, the NFL absolutely does not need to rig the NFL in favor of the Kansas City Chiefs. The fact is that the Chiefs have won two Super Bowls over the past few years because mainly of their quarterback in Patrick Mahomes is uh, one of the best all time. So they certainly do not need to be rigging games for the Kansas City Chiefs in order for them to win. And then also Taylor Swift already endorsed Joe Biden back in 2020 for that election. And while Joe Biden certainly did beat Trump, if you look at the uh, the polling results before she endorsed him compared to what actually uh, Joe Biden actually won by, it's not like Joe Biden actually, you know, outdid the polls. It wasn't like Joe Biden surged in the polls after Taylor Swift endorsed him. So absolutely, Taylor Swift is, def is definitely going to endorse Joe Biden at some point in time. I have no doubt about that. But I also don't believe that's really necessarily going to help, uh, you know, Joe Biden do any better. And while there's actually some... <laughs> really uh, weird polls out there where 18% of voters are more likely to back a Taylor Swift endorsed presidential candidate. We also have in the same poll that 17% of voters are less likely to vote for a candidate endorsed by Swift. I mean, how about this? How about we just come up, you know, make our own picks? It doesn't matter who Taylor Swift likes. It doesn't matter who Kanye West likes. It doesn't matter who uh, Elon Musk or Dave Chappelle likes. They just go out and use our own brains and pick who we think is the best candidate. I'm not going to go out there and make my choice of who should be the next president of the United States based upon, uh, you know, who Taylor Swift or any other person or celebrity picks. Just does not make a lot of sense. And even though, you know, Taylor Swift actually uh, earlier on, I think it was this year or perhaps last year, she was encouraging people on her Instagram to register to vote. And sure, you know, made headlines that uh, more than 35,000 registrations were made on vote.org. You also have to keep in mind that she has 272 million followers on Instagram. So out of 272 million people, only 35,000, you know, signed up to vote. And 
I'm, I'm sure out of those 35,000 people that signed up to vote, they weren't just signing up because Swift said to, they were just going to sign up regardless, and they probably didn't even see her message. So while, you know, definitely Taylor Swift is going to endorse Joe Biden at some point in time, I think it's silly to say that this is necessarily like being rigged or this is really going to push Joe Biden over the top. Because let's face it, it doesn't matter, you know, if Taylor Swift endorses Biden, it doesn't matter whether Beyonce, Jennifer Lopez, or whoever else endorses Joe Biden. In the end, Americans are going to pick who they think is the best candidate or their lives better under Donald Trump between 2017 and 2020, or were their lives better under Joe Biden over the last few years. They're definitely going to make up their minds with that. But that's all we have for today's video. Certainly hope you enjoyed and found value out of it. If you did, again, I would greatly appreciate if you could give this video a like. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video.